So sometimes our hallways are afterthoughts because we're spending a lot of time decorating other rooms in our homes. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you some decorating ideas for your hallway and then how to approach the decor of your hallway like a designer. So let's get started. One of the first things a designer would do before they even think about what would work in that hallway to kind of spruce it up is we would want to check and see what it currently looks like. And what I want you to do is take a moment and go into your hallway. And I want you to move around in the hallway and I want you to pause at different areas in the hallway. I want you to pause at the opening to the hallway. And I want you to notice the view. What do you see on either side and at the end? and pause at a doorway. So stand at the threshold of a bedroom doorway, for instance, and look out into the hallway. What is it that you notice? Do you see a blank wall or a window or another door or another opening? And move around all areas of your hallway because I want you to kind of take in what views that you are noticing. When we are looking at different views in your hallway, we're actually just looking for natural areas that it makes sense to kind of spruce up. And so what we're looking for, we could even call them focal areas. So we can think of focal areas in other rooms. And those are just areas where we want our eyes to go to. We want something really neat to grab our attention in that area. Instead of just looking at a blank wall in every room of our home, it's always wonderful whenever we have a view of something, of a wall, of a doorway, of a view outside. We always ideally wanna have something attractive to look at, even if it is just for a moment to pause. And so that's the same thing that we're doing in a hallway. And you think of, focal areas as part of you know, the interior design principle of emphasis. And this is where we want to have a hierarchy of emphasis even in a hallway. We want to have areas where we notice things and there are some beautiful things for our eyes to look at. And then other areas that are just kind of in the background. So one of the first views I want you to notice is when you're standing at the end of the hallway where you, you know, can look out to this long vista and this long view of your hallway. And I want you to take notice of the walls that you have on either side. Are there blank walls on either side where you could kind of spruce things up? And so those naturally provide opportunities to decorate your hallway. One way is just with a really classic way of decorating, which is, you know, hanging artwork on the wall. And when I say artwork, that can also mean photographs or mirrors or anything else that you can hang on the wall. And a couple things happen when you do that. It helps to kind of break up you know, that long expanse of a hallway, that longness, that very horizontal feeling, it kind of breaks it up a little bit. Also, it just kind of adds maybe some color and different shapes and just different things to look at while you're walking down the hallway. But also the other thing I think is kind of cool is that it provides an opportunity to pause and maybe look at the artwork or, you know, enjoy memories from a trip that you took with your family if you have photographs of, you know, family trips. And another way to decorate those long expanses in a hallway is to maybe change up the color or add pattern or texture. So for instance, you could change the wall color. What about changing it to a lighter or darker shade that relates to the rest of the paint colors in your home or even an accent color? And then what about adding some pattern or texture to those walls? You know, if you add a wallpaper that brings in colors from the rest of your home, but it adds pattern and interest, that kind of makes that passageway down the hallway a lot more beautiful and a lot more interesting. And the other thing you could do is even add a feature wall on one of the walls where you add stone or wood or some other texture that kind of makes sense with the architecture of your home.
And then the other view I want you to pay attention to is when you are standing at the threshold of a doorway or of an opening. And I want you to notice, are there any blank walls that you see as you're coming out of those areas, as you're entering the hallway? And right away, those are just natural areas that we can spruce up. So some simple decorating ideas that you can use to kind of bring something beautiful to what you see on that wall instead of seeing just a blank wall is just to hang a mirror there or hang some artwork. Just something that's beautiful to look at when you are leaving a room and entering the hallway. And it's just for a moment that you see something really beautiful and maybe you even walk up to it and look at it more closely. And the other view that I want you to notice is when you're standing at one end of the hallway and standing at another end of the hallway, and I want you to notice what is the view that you have at the opposite end? Is there a wall there? Is there an opening to another room? And what do you see in that room? And ideally, when we are standing at a hallway and looking all the way down the hallway, we want something attractive to look at. You know, one good example of this is when you are in a garden that has a pathway and the pathway we can think of is just like a hallway. It's just this long, vertical, horizontal passageway leading us somewhere. And you know, along the way, maybe there's some beautiful flowers, but when we're looking down that vista and we see something in the distance, when we see something beautiful, just as in this garden, when we see that pedestal and an urn or planter and something kind of neat at the end, that makes that hallway, that destination, that little journey a little bit more interesting and more beautiful when we see something kind of neat at the end. So when you're standing at one end of the hall and at the other end of the hall, you have a wall, that is a wonderful opportunity to add something really interesting so that when you are walking down that hall, you have something beautiful to look at. One thing you could do is add a wallpaper at the end of the hall. Or what about adding some beautiful artwork or a mirror? Or what about even creating a tableau, you know, an arrangement and grouping of beautiful objects like a narrow console table with some accessories and artwork hung on the wall above that? Or what about building in a bookshelf? Anything that will add some interest to the end of that hall while you're walking down that hall will make that hallway and that experience much more beautiful. And the other view to notice is when you're at the other end of the hallway and you're looking out to where your hallway is connected to the other areas of your home. It's, you know, the entrance of your hallway. What does that view look like? Are there opportunities to put artwork on the wall or have some beautiful pieces of furniture? Or if you have a window that has a view to the outside, you know, maybe framing that in with some beautiful drapery. So something that makes that view attractive as well. And then at the same time, it also connects that hallway to the rest of the home. So I encourage you to take a moment in your busy day to notice the views in your hallway and notice if you have any opportunities to kind of spruce up those views and to make them more attractive. So let me know what you find out and please share your design ideas and suggestions in the comments on how to spruce up and decorate hallways. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.